good afternoon ladies and gentlemen in today's video i will show you how you can create this kind of floral environment using cycles and also the blender file of this project is in the description below for free so you can download it for practice so without any further ado let's get started so as tradition i will yeet everything in the scene and then i will press shift a and then add a camera from this drop down menu, I will enter 0 on X, Y and Z rotation. And then move this camera along Z axis. So now we are looking from top to bottom. And I have my camera resolution of 1200 by 1500, the perfect Instagram ratio. But you can select any resolution that you want. And also press N to get this menu and select lock camera to view option. So you can move or rotate the camera easily. Then I will press Shift A and add in a plane and scale it up one time. Just press S and then 1. Just scale it up according to the camera resolution. Make the plane wider if you have a wider resolution. Then press Tab to go to Edit Mode and then right click and then Subdivide and from this drop down menu enter a rather small amount of cuts like 20 or 30 because the plane is not very large. And then I will add my Neil Armstrong astronaut model. To get this model for free, you can watch my previous video which has a complete guide and also the download link of this model. But you can use any model of your choice. So I downloaded this character with this laying down animation from Mixamo. And then I will go to file import and import as FBX. Then select your character, click on import and here is our character. Then scale it up and place it in the center. Then select the plane and move this slider up and choose shader editor. Then click on new, name it whatever you want and then go to edit, preferences and then add-ons. And search for node wrangler add-on and enable it by clicking on the checkbox if you haven't already. I don't know why I tell this in my every single video. But anyways, click on principal bsdf and then press ctrl shift t and then select your textures. I downloaded mine from polyheaven. But you can select any one that you like because later it's gonna be covered by foliage. So select your textures and click on principal texture setup. And Blender will automatically set up your textures for you. And then I will go to this mapping node and I will enter the value of 2 on X, Y and Z axis. Then go to the material properties and scroll down until you find settings. And then under displacement change it to displacement and bump. Then decrease the displacement value to something like 0.1. And then I will press shift A and then add in a sunlight and place it wherever you like and also change its angle. Then increase its strength to something like 5 or 10 and also choose a warmer color. And also right click and shade smooth your plane. Then I have this mega scan of a plant which will be scattering on our plane using particle system. Now you can use geometry nodes for this. But since it's a beginner friendly tutorial and nodes can be a little messy sometimes, so I will use the basic particle system for this. So add a new particle system, then click on here and check advance and then rotation and under render change it to object. And in instance select the object that you want to scatter. Just like this. I will also increase the scale to something like 0.18 and also increase the scale randomization a little bit. I will also increase the render count to 1100, hair length to 4.5 and you can also change the seed if you want to. I will then decrease the value of displacement to 0.05. Then I have these flower assets. So again add a new particle system, click on here, check advance, check rotation and this time render as collection because the assets are in the collection and instance them as a collection. And if the orientation is not right, you can change it to object Y or global Y. Then increase the scale value and also increase the render count. And you can see right now the flowers are overlapping our character. So to solve this, go to weight painting mode 
and paint on the whole plane except for the character. And then go to object data properties and change the name of the group if you want to. Then go back to object mode, select the flower particle system and scroll down until you find vertex groups. And in density, select your vertex group and now you can see it's alright. Then to add some shadows, I will add these low poly trees. You can also use gobos if you have any. Then I imported some assets from max pack. If you want them, you can see this video of mine, but there is also a link to it in the description. And also they are included in the blender file of this project. So duplicate them by pressing shift D and then fill out the scene. To add some more details, I added some more plants. You can use any foliage assets that you want. And you can see now the flowers are overlapping the plants. So then again go to weight paint mode and this time drop the weight down to zero. And paint around the corners. And in the last, I will press Shift B and then import images as planes. From here, click on Emit and then I will select a sky image to add reflections on our character's helmet. You can also use an HDRI for this. And now it's blocking our light. For this, under Ray Visibility, uncheck Shadows and also decrease its emission strength to 0.5. Then I gave 200 render samples and then rendered the image. And here is our final result. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel and then I'll see you guys in the next video.